Okay, so what do you think of these high gas prices? So uh, it's definitely got a lot of people looking like this, including myself. I'm like, wow, you know, $4.50. Now, uh, depending on where you live, uh, like my family, uh, my sisters and whatnot, they live in California, Southern California, and they're paying close to this. So, you know, their expression is more like so. They got a little smoke coming through their ears. So, uh, yes, high gas prices uh, it certainly hasn't been this high. I think maybe one other time uh, gas has been this high. But uh, anyways, I know it's one, uh, one of many things that we are probably thinking about uh, these days. But my philosophy in life is, listen, when you're handing some lemons try to make lemonade so uh, what i'm going to do here is we're going to take these high gas prices and uh, play around with them and make this into a math problem all right so that's kind of the idea with this video and uh, here is the problem so uh, four dollars and fifty cents this is the price per gallon that you would pay and let's say you have a vehicle and uh, you get 20 miles per gallon on this vehicle. Now that's not the best, it's not the worst, but let's say that's the case, and you have $175. So if you have $175, and every uh, gas station to go to, you pay $4.50 per gallon, and you have this vehicle that gets 20 miles per gallon, how far could you travel in miles? Okay, so this is the problem. Uh, kind of basic practical math now. Um, what I like to do in these videos is always encourage you to pause the video, see if you can figure it out, okay? Uh, now, you don't uh, have to do it in my exact way, but as long as you understand and you have a good um, justification for your final answer, that's really what counts. But we're going to practice some math. Again, we're going to take uh, lemons with these high gas prices. Hopefully, they come down here. We'll see, okay? But... Um, Anyways, we're going to take these lemons and turn them into lemonade and practice some very important math skills uh, that you definitely need to know because this little uh, miles per gallon right here, this little thing like this, this has to do with uh, ratios and proportions. So that's something very important that you need to understand in mathematics. So we're going to get to this in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and uh, over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Now, that's a pretty bold statement, but I really feel that way. Uh, if you're interested, um, you can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from uh, pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here very shortly. Uh, very excited about that. But I also have uh, many courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're preparing for the GED, uh, HiSET, maybe the TASC exam, maybe uh, the SAT, ACT, uh, ALEX exam, CLEP exam, ACCUPLACE, or maybe a teacher certification exam, maybe the ASVAB, all those courses, or sorry, all those exams and many others have a good amount of math on them. And if you don't do well in the math section, you do not do well in the exam. So uh, let me help you out. Just go to my website. Again, the link is in the description of this video. And you can check out my full course catalog. I should have uh, the test you're preparing for. Now, if I do not um, have that test, uh, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. Um, I also do a lot with independent learners like homeschoolers. So if you homeschool, been helping homeschoolers for 15 plus years, have a great homeschool learning program and want to check that out then obviously help those of you that are just having a tough time in your current math course. Now, if you're serious about wanting to learn math, and if you're not serious, and just disregard what I'm going to tell you, but if you are truly serious about wanting to get better at mathematics, then you got to be serious about this, and that is you have to take great math notes. Okay, So uh, over decades of teaching math, those students who do the work on a daily basis and have fantastic math notes, uh, they always do very, very well. And the reverse is true. Those students who, uh, you know, like to, you know, look at their cell phone, talk to their friends, uh, do homework uh, from another class while in their math class, all the things I did way back in the good old 1980s, except for the cell phone part. We didn't have those cell phones. At least uh, we had those gigantic ones that cost $5,000. And, uh, of course, nobody that I knew had one of those. But, uh, you know, if you kind of blow off the work you need to do in math, you're going to end up looking like this person at the end of the school year. All right. So, again, you have to ask yourself, are you serious about wanting to, uh, you know, improve in mathematics and learn? Well, then you got to be serious about note-taking. Now, in the meantime, 
Um, if you don't have great math notes, you can use mine. So I offer uh, detailed, comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and Trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get back to this problem and uh, give it a shot. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, you're going to be paying $4.50 at um, how many gas stations you need to go uh, with this $175. Now, you're probably going to have to fill up it definitely at least uh, one time. Okay, let's assume you left with a full tank and your vehicle gets 20 miles per gallon. All right, so how far, how many miles can you go with $175 bucks under this, uh, you know, these conditions? All right, so let's get to it again. A couple different ways you can approach this problem, but I'm going to use um, you know, proportions because it's just good practice. Okay, so let's start off with the gas. Okay, so we know uh, the gas is four dollars and fifty cents, but really it's four dollars fifty cents per gallon, right? So that's really what that means. So one gallon is four dollars and fifty cents. So this per four dollar and fifty cents per gallon this little like thing right that that's a division sign so we could set up a nice proportion here okay now what i'm trying to figure out is how much um how many gallons okay can i get um with 175 dollars so i want to start i want to figure out how many gallons first so with 175 bucks how many gallons of gas will i get well you could simply take that 175, right, and divide it by 450. Yes, you can. You can, all right, and you'll get 38.8 gallons. But let's just practice uh, proportions here, okay? So one gallon is uh, uh, per four dollars and fifty uh, cents, okay? So how many gallons per uh, 175 dollars? So notice here, um, what I have is what we call a proportion. This is going to be two equal fractions, and when you set this up you have to put the same units of measure um, in the respective uh, places in these fractions. So here, down in the denominator, I have both dollars, okay? And then up in the numerator, I have gallons, okay? You can't have gallons, dollars, and then dollars and gallons. They have to be in the same position. So if you uh, do this, okay, we'll be able to determine, let me kind of erase all this, um, how many gallons? Now, of course, I could take the 175 and divide by 450, and so I know it's going to be 38.8 gallons, but we're practicing math here again, all right? So we're just going to take these uh, high gas prices and make all kinds of crazy math problems out of them. So how do I solve this? Well, I can just use the cross product, all right? This is one thing you need to know about proportions. So it's going to be 1 times uh, 75, which is 75, and 450 times x, all right? So now I end up with this basic algebra equation right here. And to solve for x, I need to divide both sides of the equation by $4.50 or 450, and I get x is equal to 38.8 gallons, okay? So that's kind of the first uh, part of this problem. So with my $175, I can purchase uh, 38.8 gallons. Now I'm going to start off getting gallons uh, first because I know my uh, vehicle is rated uh, in gallons, right? It gets 20 miles per gallon. So I want to uh, do. Uh, I want to determine how many gallons I can get with this 175 bucks. So I get 38.8 gallons, and we're going to see how far we can go now with those gallons. All right. So let's get to this next part. So remember. Um, let me put this up here. Our $175 um, was able to get us or purchase uh, purchase uh, 38.8 gallons. All right, so that's the situation. Again, we figure that out up there. Now let's talk about this vehicle. All right, so 20 miles per uh, gallon. All right, that's MPG. Uh, pretty common um, specification for vehicles, and people now are probably uh, paying attention. Uh, pretty closely to their miles per gallon. So obviously things like make sure you have good tire inflation and uh, not you know driving like a, a maniac, all those things <laughs> count, right? Like not hitting the accelerator. Everyone's going to try to optimize their miles per gallon. But let's say this car gets a consistent 20 miles per gallon for this entire 38.8 gallons. Now, uh, let's go ahead and figure this uh, out, how far you can go. So again, we're going to set up a... Um, uh, proportion here. So 20 miles, okay, this right here, this little fraction bar is per, okay? So 20 miles per 
one gallon. That's what MPG means, right? It's 20 miles. This is per one gallon, per gallon, right? A gallon. So 20 miles per gallon is one gallon. So it's 20 miles per one gallon. So one gallon will get us 20 miles. So 38 gallons, okay, 38.8 gallons will get us how many miles? So we're setting up a proportion. Again, a proportion is two equal fractions. And notice again, the, my units of measure are in the uh, same respective places. So down here, I have gallons in the denominator. I have miles in the numerator. So to solve this, I simply just use the cross product. Now, if you're quite... Um, if you're a little rusty on proportions and ratios, rates and proportions, I have tons of videos on this in my algebra playlist, pre-algebra and algebra playlist. Of course, I teach this extensively in uh, those courses as well. But uh, effectively, all I need to do is multiply across and I can solve for x. So let's go ahead and do that now. So x times 1 is just 1x or x. That's what I'm looking for because that's how many miles. And then 20 times 38.8 is right here. So when you cross multiply, that's what the cross product means. You can do that when you have a proportion. And so x is going to be 20 times 38.8, and you end up with uh, 700, or said, yeah, 776 miles. That's how uh, many miles we can go with this vehicle that gets uh, 20, ooh, that's a terrible looking car, but you get the idea, 20 miles per gallon, and we have 38.8 gallons. Uh, uh, that we spent $175 um, at gas stations that were charging $4.50 uh, per gallon. Okay, so that is the scenario. Now, if you got this problem right, and maybe you did it a different way, but if you did get this right, then I must in turn give you a happy face with a little mohawk, right? That's a happy expression. Uh, you know, that's how we kind of looked. At least a lot of us did back in the 1980s. I didn't have this uh, hairstyle, but a lot of my friends did. We used a lot of hairspray uh, spray back in the 1980s. It was quite dangerous. I actually kind of sport around with this little flat top. You don't see those anymore, but I look pretty cool. At least I thought I did. But anyways, um, you know, you deserve a happy face if you figure this thing out, right? So let's have fun with these high gas prices the best we can and try to do some uh, mathematics. So uh, at least we're getting something out of it. All right. So that's basically it. Again, um, a couple things here. You know, very common to be uh, seeing these ratios, rates, and proportions, right? Like things like uh, MPG, miles per gallon. This is, you know, you got to set up a uh, ratio with these problems or a rate, okay? And then you got to use proportions. So, you know, use this as a uh, kind of, you know, as something to hopefully incentivize you to want to learn more about uh, just basic mathematics. And I would classify rates, ratios, and proportions. That's good practical math to learn. Again, you can, um, uh, you know, if you're quite, you know, like a little bit rusty on this, you can learn a ton of this stuff on my uh, YouTube channel. But if this video was interesting and you uh, enjoyed it to some degree, please consider smashing that like button. And again, um, I hope that you take advantage of all my videos on my channel and become a subscriber. I've been on uh, YouTube for 10 plus years. Um, I have uh, over a thousand videos and, uh, you know, I teach from basic to advanced math. My goal is always to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way, right? I want you to succeed in mathematics. So if you like my teaching style, you can learn a lot from all the videos that I post. But my best math help will certainly be in my uh, math help program. Okay, so hopefully these gas prices come down. We'll see. But uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.